Namaste, everyone. Uh, welcome and uh, to our next very interesting topic. Uh, last week, we were talking about the um, contraception and what are the consequences of, of taking it, uh, what are the best ways, and uh, before deciding for how long we should really take it. This was a wonderful, wonderful uh, show. Thank you very much for all the knowledge sharing with us, Dr. Kamal. Yeah. And uh, How are you today, doing? Um, yes, we are doing well. I'm doing well, and you? Yeah, all good. And uh, today we are talking about uh, equally important topic: the uh, egg and sperm quality, the the health of egg and sperm. So this is very important, not only for insemination and uh, for pregnancy, but also for something that is uh, very trendy uh, these days. This is the uh, the egg freezing. Uh, so this is the same, right? The same diet, the same regimen, the same logic for egg freezing and for uh, getting pregnant. Yeah, that is, uh, that's true. Because, uh, and when we say uh, if a couple is ready to conceive and plan a family ahead, it's important to look at both the ends because uh, you might have heard it takes two to tango. Yes. Right? Yes. We always need healthy egg and a healthy sperm. Exactly. Because uh, they are going to produce a healthy embryo and that will either increase or decrease the chances of DNA abnormalities, chromosomal abnormalities and other health complications. So it's have equal importance for ha having a healthy egg and a healthy sperm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, in in most of the articles that I read on the internet, I was a little disappointed because everybody talks about the, the diet, exercises. And then when it uh, brings out the ancient wisdoms, uh, they usually talk about uh, Chinese medicine and uh, acupuncture. Of course, I'm a big fan of acupuncture. It really works. But then uh, there are not so many articles about Ayurveda. So please tell us, is Ayurveda really preoccupied with that and has a lot to offer for the patient? Yeah. So in Ayurveda, we have a whole subject, a whole different subject, which shares knowledge about how to conceive and what are the things that you can do to have a healthy conception and ultimately have a healthy baby. It includes... Uh, to prepare a male and a female's body both. Like in terms of your diet, in terms of your lifestyle, what kind of supplements you can have, what kind of detoxification or cleansing you can go through before planning a uh, family. So it uh, we have wide range of things that are mentioned and this uh, it's all in detail that how you can improve the quality of your physical body, mental level, spiritual level and emotional level so that you are prepared for whole this uh, like you know this long journey of pregnancy and then delivering a healthy baby out of that there okay. is a immense knowledge in ayurveda that has been mentioned yeah yes and uh, and ayurveda uh, because uh, this is another uh, western approach that we have one solution for all the patients right and what ayurveda and also uh, chinese medicine it's known for it's to to make uh, everything really tailored to the need and of the body and mind of yeah. the of the couple right so this is also something that is di different from the uh, perspective of the current medical tradition and there is a whole new concept called Garbh Sanskar in Ayurveda, okay. which includes a lot of uh, spiritual processes, um, taking different herbal supplements to prepare female's body so that she can take uh, this responsibility in a very healthy way and is not you know, uh, getting affected by all the hormonal changes going on through the pregnancy because we see every pregnancy is different every individual is different so we that's why ayurveda is all about individualized treatment individualized exactly. yes. diet lifestyle everything and this is actually uh, it goes along with uh, the the current research because the research proved that uh, when we are stressed 
then the cortisol level affects the progesterone levels, right? So uh, when a female, when a, when a girl, when a woman is stressed out, it's much more difficult to get pregnant, right? So all the yoga and meditation really helps. This is this is not an alternative way. This is uh, something that you have to do it parallel to the diet and uh, supplements. Yeah. You are saying that uh, true because stress uh, nowadays you can see the every topic that we discuss here or we can see the videos on YouTube as well. This is stress at the top most uh, main causative factor for a lot of diseases. So here also, if we talk about the conception, if we talk about the infertility and everything, stress is very important because stress is directly related uh, to your hormonal secretion. Whenever you are under stress, your hormones will get imbalanced. And it's all about balanced hormones, healthy lifestyle, and your healthy diet to have healthy eggs. Although your eggs are preserved in a very, you know, um, small storage area in the body where the effect of many things will not reach, maybe, all the supplements that you take. But then positive side is that it is also not affected by other negative impacts, environmental uh, toxins that are there. So we no, have to be very precise exactly. with them. Yes. Yeah. Please, please continue. <laughs> so this that's why I'm saying that uh, because the number of eggs that a female is born with, they will never going to change. That That is the only reserve that you will have whole your life. So we have to be very precise with that. We don't want to waste number of eggs in different, different uh, treatments going for the pregnancy. Instead of that, we should follow a very simple and easy way to have healthy conception. Exactly. So that what is the, what is the simple procedure? What is, what is the diet uh, that uh, the uh, woman should really follow? And yeah. for how long? So if you are planning to conceive, six months or one year before that, you should start preparing your body for that. Because oh. it takes time to remove the toxins out of the body, which has been accumulated from over past so many years. You have to cleanse yourself from all the ways, like physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And same with the male's health, because we have we want the healthy sperm as well. Exactly. And here, uh, when we are talking about the toxins, it's really interesting. This is another uh, very fashionable current right now. Uh, we are talking not only about food, about organic food, the good quality, but also uh, sometimes or very often women are not aware that they put a lot of toxins on their skin. The, uh, the body lotion, the uh, makeup, uh, hair dye. Uh, there is, uh, yes, uh, all the chemicals that uh, we think that uh, if this is skin this is uh, not really our body but uh, i really like this ayurvedic principle that uh, if you cannot eat it don't put it on your skin yeah. right this is true because uh when you think it is not good for your body to intake orally or inside your body then how can you think it's good for your body to apply even externally exactly because anyhow your skin is the biggest organ in the body so if you are affecting that, if you are putting chemicals or negative things, which is not good for your skin, then it's going to affect your body at some point of time. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, another topic this, uh, I don't know if we have time to talk about this, it's uh, endocrine disruptors, right? Even the, even the, uh, the foil that we put on the uh, food that we uh, store in the refrigerator that may affect us, the, the parabens that may affect us. Yeah, these are the very small things where that we are doing in our daily routine that we don't know, we don't uh, think about it, that it can affect our body like at such deep level. All these things comes under microplastics. And nowadays we have to remove all these from our daily life one by one. I'm not just saying that transform your uh, life all of a sudden because that's impossible. I know that being a human being, it's not possible to, you know, remove all the things which are making your life easier. You cannot just remove that, but you can change that. You can replace with that with the healthier options. You so, just want to have some awareness. You want to have the knowledge about it, that what you are doing wrong in your daily life. So what are the, the, uh, the, the most important things in the diet uh, that we need to pay attention to? 
during the six to six months to a year preparing our body for the uh, for either for a baby or for the egg freeze. So what Ayurveda says always when we talk about a good diet, it always says that when you are preparing your body for some uh, big reason, you should have you start having a sattvic food, sattvic lifestyle. It means sattvic. It means that away from all the junk foods, all the processed foods, processed meats, and other chemicals that we take, like other bakery products, you have to quit smoking. You should uh, decrease your intake of alcohol. No smoking, no alcohol. Reduce your amount of caffeine when you are preparing yourself for the conception. These are the some few things that you should try reducing it. Gradually, you will be able to reduce it at the point when you are ready to conceive. And along with that, try uh, the intake of healthy foods, like which has good amount of vitamins, minerals, omega-3 fatty acids, which are good to produce a healthy embryo. Like yeah. uh, you can take zinc supplements, like pumpkin seeds have good amount of zinc in that. Try including that in your diet. Uh, I think what I recommend to my patient most of the time and easier for most of the patient to follow is that Mediterranean diet, which includes most of the fresh veggies, fresh fruits, nuts, seeds, and um, things which are easy to digest, high fiber content, protein rich foods avoid trans fats, try to include healthy fats because you should not all of a sudden reduce the intake of fats in your body or fatty acid because we always think just reduce carbs and fats. Whenever we think about the diet, it's always about removing carbs and diets from that, uh, fats from that. But healthy fats are very important because female hormones are fat-based hormones. Exactly, yes. Estrogen and progesterone, they want healthy fats to grow and to be secreted in proper amount. So uh, ghee, it's uh, one of the uh, panacea relief really, uh, for conception, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, it is one of the important uh, thing to include because it increases odors in your body. Homemade mm -hmm. butter is always good to have because it increases odors. Odors is the positive energy, the pranic energy that Ayurveda says is very important to survive, to have a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle all your life. So if we uh, talk about ojas, it's a vital energy because it's an Ayurvedic term. Maybe not everyone will be able to understand, but it's a vital energy that we all need to have a positive mindset, to have a positive, healthy life. And to have During ojas, we also need a good uh, digestion and good absorption in our guts, right? With, uh, without the good ojas. Base for everything. Yes. Digestion is everything. If you have good digestion, you are on the right path. Yes. <laughs> you can uh, conquer all the other diseases that are coming on your way. Because if you have good digestion, they will all be just come and then go. Because a good digestion can fight against all other small things. But if you don't have a good digestion, I don't think you can cure any other disease. Yes, so true. What about uh, another uh, very fashionable element of, of preparing that I've read is massage. Massage uh, for once a week or twice a week. Uh, I, uh, I, what do you think about marma? Is marma really helpful in uh, increasing the blood flow to uterus and improving the, the hormonal balance of estrogen and progesterone for women? Yeah, so you start talking about, uh, before this you were talking about Massage. Uh, massage. Okay. So I will tell you a case study. I have a patient before, like maybe two months ago. She was planning to conceive, but it was taking a bit longer for her to conceive. And there was no hormonal imbalance, no investigations, no blood reports that were abnormal that I have to treat. It was just uh, unknown infertility that we can say, idiopathic, where there is no known causative factor we can think of. So in such cases, what I did was just Simply, I started with uh, bhyanga, like whole body mas oil massage. We have to decide what kind of oil based on the prakriti of the patient. Like if the vata prakriti, different oil, pitta prakriti, different and kapha for the different oil. So just I started with simple herbs like shatavri in her diet, some dietary changes and doing a self whole body massage with the oil, medicated oil and to have a hot shower after that. She followed this thing just for a month along with the herbs and some dietary advice. And it was so smooth and easy for her to conceive. 
Wow. And that was so surprising to me as well because there is no such thing that uh, written in theories that you should do like this. But because it was uh, idiopathic infertility, there was no cause uh, coming out of the reports. Obvious, so I just yeah. tried that and it works wonders. So that wow. is the importance of Abhyanga. Okay. You see, you just have to improve the circulation. You have to increase the metabolism of your body. You have to maintain your body mass index. These are the small things that you can incorporate in your daily lives and go on a smooth path to achieve a conception. Okay, so uh, you said in the beginning that it takes two to tango. And yeah. we all like to tango. So <laughs> what about the, the sperm and health of a young gentlemen? Yeah. So nowadays what I see in most of the male patients, because whenever infertility cases are there, we need uh, both the partners to come together, have a counseling and then see where we have to work because there are different areas in a male body we have to work on and different areas in a female body that we have to work on. But there are some few factors as well that if they both are contributing to that, it will give more good results. Yeah. So in that case, we need to do counseling first. And uh, I think most of the times it's just uh, so common that we think, okay, when a um, couple is facing infertility, they have been referred to a gynecologist, not a urologist. Why? And when a couple comes to a gynecologist, they just think, okay, 90% people will just think it's a problem with the female, that they're not getting conceived. But it's just the reverse now. It's just 50-50. You cannot just see uh, either it is a male's problem or a female problem that they are not able to conceive so equally we have to start investigation for both of them for sperm uh, the quality also it is equally important as the egg quality moreover with the eggs we cannot do a lot about it because it's always been done when you were born but with the sperm we can do a lot of other things like making healthy choices as i told you before because most of the things are same if that male um, uh, partner is smoking, taking alcohol, having caffeine in large amount. You have to reduce all these things. You have to cleanse your body. You have to uh, reduce taking external like or artificial protein sources. Just try to have natural protein sources in your body. Because what they think is that taking whey protein and other protein all the time, they're going to main, make them more masculine. But it's not the fact. Exactly. It's yes. impact the testosterone level, which is ultimately going to affect your fertilization process yeah like uh, i guess uh, bodybuilders are not known to be uh, fathers of of many kids <laughs> yeah. yeah okay uh, so uh, to summarize it uh, what is important for good quality sperm like in the sense you're asking for diet uh, for yes for a diet uh, you uh, i know that you are really big fan of exercising but you told me that uh, over exercising it's also not very good right uh, yeah. both for women and for men uh, during the the period of uh, of trying to get to, to conceive and mm -hmm. uh, what else so uh, what what supplements uh, i know that all the uh, guys like to have uh, super muscles uh, lean beautiful bodies with super muscles with steroids and other stuff is that okay for the quality of sperm yeah it is okay but to a very limited amount you should know your body you should consult your doctor before taking all these things especially if you are trying to conceive during that six months or one year period, you should be very careful about what kind of supplements you are taking. And along with that, if you want to take natural sources for that, you should try other herbal supplements that will give you protein source, that will give you, give you muscle strength, and your testosterone levels will be balanced. Example? Also, along with that, you will have good sperm quality. Like ashwagandha is one of the favorite okay. that I advise. There is safed muesli that you can use. There is a shatavri because we think shatavri is always for female, but that's not true. Yes. It is good for both of them because estrogen is present in male and the female both. Testosterone is present in both male and female. So it balances. It will, if you require more, it will give you more. If you have to, if you already have excess of that, it will reduce it. 
So it works like that. Adaptogen, yeah. Supplements like that, yeah. yeah. You can take supplements like omega-3 fat, fatty acids, folate, good amount of uh, folic acid, like spinach contains, pomegranate juice contains a lot of folate and uh, it's a good source of iron as well. Because you need to increase blood circulation to those areas, to mm -hmm. your reproductive organs, which needs to be very healthy when you are planning to conceive. Yes, and I also remember vitamin D. It's uh, important, right? Yeah, vitamin D, vitamin E is also very important for fertility. And um, all, all, above all these things, a simple amlaki, that's a very good uh, nourishing herb that you can take in your diet in the form of candies, in the form of pickle, or in the form of any uh, capsule or anything. Like amlaki comes in a lot of other forms as well. Yeah, it's a very I nourishing love, love herb. I like the pig amalaki pickle. It's really wonderful with rice. Yeah, you can have it anytime. Like with your meals, you can add it. And this, that's why I'm saying these small changes makes a huge difference. And also, I remember saffron. It's very good for uh, male uh, reproductive system to maintain healthy sperms and eggs. Having saffron milk is also good. How do you make a saffron milk? You just add uh, six or seven threads of saffron Brand. to the milk? Uh, it's always good to, you know, um, have one or two drop of milk on, you know, um, some marble area and then rub it on the paper, uh, on the floor or that area and then mix it with the, because you don't add strength directly. Don't, it will not give you the color and the effect as much as it should be. Okay. So just rub it on a surface and then mix it with that because other than then strands will get rubbed just like we make ginger juice. So mm -hmm. it's like rubbing it on the surface and then mixing it in the milk and then give ah. it a boil. Yeah, that's the best way to have saffron milk. Yeah. Okay. And can you boil it? Is it uh, yeah. sensitive yeah. to temperature? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, it will give yeah. you a good aroma and a good taste. Oh, very nice. So this is uh, this is actually a very good news because uh, when it takes two to tango, it's always uh, good to have a similar diet and a similar supplement. Easier to follow. Yes. Yeah, because when you exactly. live together, you don't have to prepare separate things for each other. Exactly. And both of you will benefit from it, right? And also when we talk about herbs, uh, when initially I talked about four things. Ahar, your diet. Vihar, your lifestyle. Third is shaman, like supplements. Fourth one is shodhan, like cleansing. Mm -hmm. So basic cleansing that we can do on daily basis is like uh, in Ayurveda, we call it as virechana. Yes. Just to remove all the toxins from your gut. It's like a cleansing that you can do once in six months. Okay. Also, For how uh, long? we can... Do you know this Once is like seven six days? Months. Yeah, it will take seven to eight days. Yeah, okay. it depends how much your body can take uh, the medicated ghee that we give in this process. And secondly, if you don't have that much time to take all this process for seven, eight days, you can do uh, home cleansing as well. Like you can add 25 ml or some amount of casserole in the uh, warm milk, have it. And then next day, you will have some sort of cleansing. You will have three or four motions. Normally, you will have one, but on that day, you will have three or four, maybe five. So that's a very uh, basic cleansing that you can do. But still, when you are doing it, just consult a doctor, an Ayurvedic practitioner, and then start doing it. Because it may not be the best thing to do for yourself. We can recommend other ones based on your prakriti. Okay, and uh, maybe uh, this is obvious for some, but not so obvious for me. Uh, when do you know that you are ready to conceive? You just uh, try it every month and when it happens, it happens? Or do you follow for six months all the procedures and then you you go, you check your estrogen and progesterone level, the quality of your sperm, and then you go, bang, this is it. <laughs> I'm done. No, it's not like that. When we talk about infertility, definition of infertility itself says that when a couple is trying to have unprotected sex for one continuous year and still not able to conceive, then that point we call it infertility. And uh -huh. during that first year, we should not do any kind of investigations. After that, we have to see, okay, where the problem is lying. Okay. After that one year, you have to consult a doctor and then plan ahead. Okay. The doctor will advise you to do some blood reports or some other scans if you want to do. 
after that you should do all these things but first give it your body some time to do it naturally but i i read in a medical press that it takes 85 days uh, for an egg to fully develop so based on that information uh, we would suggest for the first 3 months just to abstain from unprotected sex right and to cleanse and then after that we can start uh, thinking about bigger family <clears throat> Yeah, it's the same with the sperms as well. Because when uh, you are ejaculating that on a daily basis, at some point when the egg is ready and the body is ready to fertilize, that by that time the sperm may not be of that quality. Exactly. When you are, you know, uh, fertilizing the egg and the sperm, it should be, it should have three or four days prior to that. You should not ejaculate that so that it is the strongest at that time, or maybe it's not strongest, the best quality. It have good motility. It has good shape, so that it can penetrate the egg and fertilize. Okay. Wow, very interesting. Thank you, Dr. Kamal. So I guess the the next uh, podcast will be about the uh, preparing for pregnancy or uh, getting healthy baby. Yeah, we can try for that. Okay. We have already covered a lot of points in this one, but still, if anything left, we can record that in another video. Okay. <laughs> uh, we can also have links to uh, some of the articles that mention uh, egg health and sperm fertility. And uh, yeah. I, I remember that you were writing an article also about that, right? Yeah, we'll have a detailed article on this and okay. you can re read that on our website as well. Okay. Thank you. Uh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. And please remember to uh, subscribe and please remember to send us questions because the more questions we have, uh, the, the more answers uh, you'll hear. Okay. And remember that Ayurveda has answers uh, very practical and affordable. So um, follow this tradition that is uh, 3,500 years and is still going. So it has some power. Exactly. And wisdom. Okay. <laughs> and we want the power to reach most of the people so that you can get benefit out of that knowledge exactly exactly democratization of ayurveda yes yeah. i like that <laughs> really needed yeah okay, okay. take care see you in the next video